everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today I wanted to talk about something slightly different. Every Friday, Mark Urain from the Gutenberg team uh, posts an update about where Gutenberg is at. And May 22nd, 2020 was the 54th update. And there are two elements in this update that I think are very important. And I would love to get your feedback on the com in the comments below. And these are going to be for the big, wide-sweeping changes that are going to come to WordPress within six months to indefinitely a year from now on how we experience WordPress. So a couple of the first updates, there was a cover block update where now you have this sort of positioning element that you can play with, kind of cool. And then the rich image editing looks really cool with some zoom cropping features there. It just didn't work for me. Uh, I put an image in. I didn't see a toolbar. I didn't have any of these options, so I didn't get a chance to play with it. But the two areas I wanted to demonstrate today, and then, like I said, get your feedback, site navigation and the multi-entity saving, and more importantly, the full site editing experience with WordPress and Gutenberg. Let's go into the site. You have to have Gutenberg installed, so you have the standalone Gutenberg plugin, and then you have to enable the experiments. Um, I happen to have all of them active here, but you want to definitely check out the navigation one or check off the navigation one and the full site editing one. And we'll demo that right now. Let's go into the navigation section. And this is the new navigation. Now remember, all of this stuff is very early on. These are not the final touches by any stretch of the imagination, but this is a great way for you to kind of see what the team is rolling out so you can kind of keep up with it. Whether you're a developer, designer, you love WordPress, you train people on WordPress, you kind of want to stay in the know or you watch channels like this. Everything is a block in this new navigation editor. So if we looked at the old editor or what will be the old editor, uh, this is what it looks like now. This is what it looks like or will look like uh, in the new experience, or at least some shape of this. And if I click on this, these are all the elements that you're used to seeing in Gutenberg, and you experience it as if it were a block. And if I wanted to remove the sample page, it literally says remove block. <laughs> and that's how I get rid of the sample page. Now, these obviously will might change in the future, but it's definitely Gutenberg powered. If I drop in sample page, and I wanted to add a sub menu and click on that sub menu and drop in another one. Right, so it's very visual, it's very Gutenberg, and I'm assuming that someday, actually that didn't even save, so that could be a little bug right there. Um, I imagine someday I'll be able to drag and drop these elements as well on the left-hand side. I can add a bunch of elements right here, um, but you know, again, still early days. Obviously some things aren't even working 100% right there. But this is what that experience looks like. What's your thoughts so far on how navigation is taking shape? Site editing. This is the big one. Um, so my thoughts are uh, they should just buy Beaver Builder, <laughs> right? Matt should acquire the Beaver Builder team and just take that technology because it's so close to this. It's obviously very Gutenberg because it is Gutenberg. It's the Gutenberg editor. Uh, that's how you're building these templates out, which we would all have come to assume. I just feel like just take the team at Gutenberg, give those guys, they've been doing some great work, uh, a good payout and roll them into uh, core WordPress. That's what I feel. Anyway, the most important parts, the parts that's really starting to define the lines in the road, this upper left-hand corner where you can drop down to select a certain template or select a template part. And right now it's only supporting the header. Um, but if I hover over, uh, well, both if I hover over both elements, they give you a little preview, but I can create multiple templates and I'm assuming I'll be able to create multiple template parts in the future. So you can imagine if you have the header here, there'll be a footer. I can make multiple headers, multiple footers. I can be dynamic with that. I can mix and match headers and footers onto different templates. Um, you know, it's everything that you've become to, I'm about to sneeze. It's everything you've become to, uh, ex uh, to experience in a typical page builder today. What is interesting to me is Matt in a recent, Matt Mullenweg in a recent WordCamp Spain talk, he talked about, you know, hey, they, they, page builders and Gutenberg, they can coexist. They'll, they'll be able to coexist in the future. They'll be work hand in hand. I, I don't know if that's the case, right? As I start to see these, you know, foundations go in, I'm, I'm excited for full site editing. I think WordPress needs this. I'm just interested to see how page builders take this on. Um, but anyway, you can sort of play with this. You can add in blocks as if you, you know, were any kind of, uh, using any kind of Gutenberg editing experience. 
Uh, you start to see some of these elements in here, like post content, post author, post title. You can start to start to see that, okay, I'll be able to build out my templates, save these templates and reuse them. You know, what's not here right now is on the right hand side where it says global styles. I'm assuming this is like a placeholder section to be able to modify the look and feel of a lot of these blocks. I and mean, you can do things like bold and italicize and things like that here right now. But uh, in the future, I'm assuming you'll be able to modify all of these styles, just like if you were in a blog post or a Gutenberg page, right? So this is just the groundwork. Still early on, as I've said, one of the cool things is when you hit update, uh, or actually if I go up to the top here and I say, uh, add title, whoops. Oh, actually I didn't want to do that. Well, let's just do insert after and say paragraph test. Um, you can start to see this stuff on the right hand side start to open up. This is that multi, what did Mark call it? This is multi entity saving where just making those modifications, I'm changing things. I started to change the website consultant. Let me just say title. Um, it's, it's automatically identifies, okay, where do you want to save this? Do you want to save this for the entire site for just this template or just this template part? I can save them to all of them, you know, again, early on. But what does that mean for the future? Does that mean I can send, yeah, I can make one modification and send it to, you know, three out of four of my templates or, you know, multiple headers and footers? That's kind of cool. Like you have like one place and you can send them out to different templates. I don't know if there's any other page builders doing it like that specifically. I don't know if it means that specifically, but it's cool to see this stuff coming together. And I'm interested in your thoughts, leave comments below. What do you think about the new navigation builder and where it's at today? What do you think about this full site editing experience? How do you think it's gonna take on page builders? Let me know in the comments below. It's plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you want more. See you in the next video.